light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Batter up! Commander, you may want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. out there strike one if i may commander the labs are on high alert teams are standing by for your orders we can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies we should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold, providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Looks like they're really taking care of business down there, and without so much as a scratch. The Assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last ones out. Just like it sounds, the Support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. 
Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Commander to engineering. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Work crews are on their way to begin construction. I'll send word when the new facility is operational. Requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hologram. Touching down. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you 5x5. Five five. Strike 1 has the green light for deployment. Got something over here! accomplished. Commander to the Situation Room. Commander to the Situation Room. The Heavy Weapons Specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Be in touch, Commander. Every member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things... alive? Yes. 
Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuro- Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. still having a hard time grasping what it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans seemingly at random? There must be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Contact detected. on the bandit. Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike One is authorized to assault the alien craft.
an impact like that at such a velocity the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of our readings can't be right if they were that's a being of almost pure energy up another one. 